Hey, investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. Today, I am analyzing a property for my client, Adam from California. Adam, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, holding wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Adam, my man, thank you for purchasing the analysis. Let's get right into things. You are from California. This is going to be your first purchase in Cleveland. You're hoping uh, to achieve a $10,000 a month of cash flow by August of 2029. Very specific goals. You've set yourself a very specific target. I like that. That's what you have to do. You got to visualize it. You got to write it down. You got to put that out there into the world. And now you got to do the work to make that happen. Uh, you really like the Burr strategy. You comprehend the Burr strategy. Uh, just for anybody else that's watching your video, Adam. Now, uh, again, Adam, you're getting this video right now. Anybody else watching this, I will not release this publicly until after this deal is totally done. Uh, so this property, Adam, you actually have already put it under contract with the listing agent. So nobody else can snag it at the moment. But we wouldn't want people putting in secondary offers to that listing agent right now because that will you know, lose some of your leverage if you're negotiating with the listing agent and the sellers after the inspection. So this video will not be re released publicly until after the deal is already closed, whether that be you closing it or somebody else closes it. I'm not going to, you know, put out another agent's property while it's still actively for sale. Uh, but a couple months from now when this thing's all wrapped up, uh, what I want to say is the Burr strategy. For anybody else watching this that doesn't know what that is, that stands for buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat. It's a way for you guys to be able to take a, a chunk of money and essentially put that into a property, recycle it back out, and continue using the same chunk of money. Uh, the ultimate goal is to get as little of your cash into the deal as possible. Now, <clears throat> a, an amazing burr allows you to get in at such a great price. Uh, that you get all of your money back out. That is not always possible, though. Um, so you should look at it like, you know, typically speaking, when you buy a rental property, you have to put down 25%. So if you could end up with less than 25% into the deal, that is a very successful burr. Uh, so uh, with all of that in mind, you have identified a property, 3852. East 188th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44122. Let's take a look. It was uh, listed at 45000 The MLS, it still says active, but you've already told me in your email uh, that you've already made your offer contingent. So I, I imagine this is under contract with you. Um, normally that would say uh, contingent, but it sounds like the listing agent has not uh, changed that to contingent status just yet. Now, what uh, we have here, 3852 East 188th, here is the front yard. Uh, we just got like a little bungalow. Obviously, there's some like overgrown bushes and stuff. Uh, according to the listing agent, just real quick, let me read what the listing agent said. Uh, very nice bungalow situated in a quiet neighborhood. Good for your own living or rent it out. Move in ready. Seller completely renovated the property in 2016. Newer furnace, newer hot water tank, updated electricity. Great house, must see. Other properties for sale too. Maybe a package deal. Okay, so back to the photos here. Now, <laughs> yeah, I, they did some work to it in 2016, I guess. But like, what the hell did they do? Because they didn't upgrade it. Because this kitchen's from the 70s, and I don't really agree that it's uh, necessarily moving ready. I mean, that looks okay right there. The living room, that's fine. Uh, it's not exactly moving ready, rent ready for tenants. Like a lot of times. You can't tell, but like on these walls, I'm sure there's like gashes or, or things like that. And you, and you don't want to have like 
different colors throughout all the all the walls like we've seen three rooms already and all three have a different color you got broken blinds right here the blinds over here are all fucked up uh like if you zoom in right here like see that it's hard to tell in the picture but something's fucked up there that's fucked up that's fucked up uh this not it looks like shit but it's not a big deal that's actually your cable cord if you're if you're wondering what that was um so i wouldn't call this moving ready i mean we got shit all over the floor this carpet is from fucking 1970. Um, so I, I don't agree with the listing agent's assessment that it's moving ready. Uh, but, that you know, whatever. Um, here, look. Right here. Tub. That's fucked up. All that stuff right there. Obviously, that's fucked up. Uh, this thing's old, outdated, ugly. Um, this mirror. I don't, I don't really know what's going on with this mirror. It's, it's weird. Uh, it's like It looks like a square, but it also looks like a circle. I don't know. Also, right here. See that right there? Boom, you're missing the shower head. Um, so you're going to need to do some work there. Basement, unfinished basement, that's fine. You don't need to finish the basement. You're supposed to have an unfinished basement. That's that's totally good, totally normal. Look like we need to do a little bit of duct work right here, though. See, that's broken. Uh, missing a light bulb right there. So just like every every picture that we've seen thus far from this listing agent it shows it does require work, but that's all minor. Right here, newer hot water tank. Listing agent's correct. The hot water tank is newer. That's one of the big ticket items. This furnace, boom, newer furnace. That's a big ticket item. So maybe those were replaced in 2016. It looks to be carpet here, and I'm looking like I'm seeing some uh, mold right there. It's uh, You're going to have like moist basements here in Cleveland. We have a high water table. These are old homes. They're not meant to be finished down there in the basement. shouldn't really be living space. Uh, so that doesn't really scare me. When you get an interior inspection through your home inspector, have them look into that more. But what I would recommend doing is pulling out the carpet, painting the floor, painting this with dry lock, and then putting a uh, dehumidifier. And that should be enough because you are you don't want something that gets, like, super wet coming in from the outside. But it, you are going to get uh, moisture. You know, the way these basements are built, you know, the porous, uh, porous um, foundation, uh, you're going to get uh, some moisture. So as long as you don't, like, try to finish it, put put actual living space down there you should be okay it's pretty par for the course here is another photo of the outside i'm hoping that uh this is the more current one because if you saw, if you remember the first photo the house was green uh and it looked like shit uh this looks to be a nicer color so hopefully they redid that vinyl siding um but yeah so that's all the photos of the house now Listed at forty-five thousand. Uh, I don't know what you put it under contract for, but I'm just going to do this assessment. If you were to purchase it at forty-five thousand, now, if you were to purchase it at forty-five thousand, I think to get this thing rent ready, uh, we're going to need to put fifteen thousand dollars in. It's definitely not moving ready for all the stuff I just explained to you. I'd like to see you put fifteen grand in. And what I'd like you to do with that fifteen thousand dollars. Is let's upgrade that kitchen, dude. They should have upgraded that kitchen. That kitchen is old. That's dated. It's gross. If you're going to buy a single-family rental property, dude, the biggest thing that's going to kill your return is going to be tenants moving in and out. Because every time they move in and out, we got to go in and we got to repaint it. we got to fix all kinds of broken stuff. Just all that little knick-knack stuff uh, that I showed you that I pointed out looking at those pictures. Like, dude, there's 14 photos listed by this listing agent. Uh there's 14 photos posted by this listing agent, okay? I just reviewed those with you for 60 seconds, and I found uh, $15,000 worth of work that's all common uh, that you're going to see. Like, this property um, had a tenant in there, and now the tenant moved out, and boom, I've identified $15,000 worth of stuff I want you to fix. Uh, so... That being said, like all that little tic tac stuff, that's not going to account for fifteen grand. Don't think it will. That might account uh, for like maybe a third of that or a quarter of that. But you don't want to do that every year or every two years. And the way you're going to avoid having to do that more often is by giving the tenant something really updated, really nice. So I want to see you update that kitchen. This landlord, when he did it in 2016, maybe he wouldn't be selling this property right now had he done the kitchen. Um, and the bathroom, too. That bathroom looked like fucking shit. It was all fucked up, but it's not, it's not nice. It's not modern. So let's do some premium upgrades. Let's do the kitchen. Let's do the bath. On top of that, uh, let's paint every single wall in this house same color. We'll go agreeable gray. Uh, nice white trim. We'll pull all the carpet out, and we'll refinish the hardwood. So that should uh, come out to roughly $15,000, uh, give or take. Obviously, 
uh, for you to get a line by line bid from Holton Wise. Um, after you purchase this, we'll have to send in my team, and they'll give you the minimum rental standards that we need to hit, and then they'll include the premium upgrades like the kitchen and the the bath stuff like that. But more or less, I think we'll be around 15k. So if you bought it for 45, you did 15, it puts you all into this investment at 60,000. What are you going to get in rent? I think you're going to get $950 a month in rent to a cash-paying tenant. Uh, that's going to be $11,400 a year. Quickly, I want to bring your attention to uh, my website here. No, those are some stuff. We're going to go to the FAC. Okay. And then here's the property management FAC. Now I'm going to go to the Section 8 FAC. Now, that $950 a month in rent, that's what a cash-paying tenant would pay for this. Um, if you expand your offering and we do accept section eight, we're going to get much more, uh, tenants able to apply to this property. And if you look here, HUD's, uh, fair market rents for three bedroom homes, 1,176 and then CMHA pays up to $1,293 a month for people with three bedroom vouchers. I'm not going to guarantee you we can get 1293 uh, but we should definitely opening it up to all those tenants probably be able to exceed that 950 range. We could probably be uh, in the 1100 or so. Like the 1176 seems very doable to me. Um, I'm going to continue the rest of the analysis at the low rent of 950. Uh, but if I were purchasing this home, I would want to open it up to Section 8. More tenants, more people. We're going to have less vacancy. Uh, more people applying. It's going to drive that price up. And this is government guaranteed. Uh, how we actually come up with the exact amount of money Section 8 is going to pay. It's very confusing, very difficult. That's why I have an entire Section 8 fact on my website. Uh, so definitely check that out because uh, there's just tons and tons of red tape you're going to have to go through. Uh, and the renovation will probably be a little bit more expensive because we're going to have to go through Section 8 approval. Uh, so other things may need to get fixed uh, that we wouldn't necessarily fix for cash-paying tenants. Uh, like all the windows, uh, I didn't really notice uh, what kind of windows were in this home because they were covered with the blinds. But like uh, we'd have to replace all the windows. You're looking at like around 150 200 bucks a window, stuff like that. Uh, but you would probably get more rent, and we would probably reduce that vacancy even further. Uh, but just going with the analysis at our base price, right? Let's just do a conservative analysis. Any additional rent is going to be cherry on the cake for you. Let's go with that $9.50 a month. Break down all the expenses. Repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-pay capital X. We should expect uh, to budget about 47 bucks a month for each of those. Now, you're not going to have $47 of repairs every single month, bro. Um, like There's going to be like no repairs, and then like something big is going to happen. Uh, but the cool thing is... Um, if we do a nice, beautiful renovation, we shouldn't have to see a lot of that in the beginning. Uh, but like when you do turnovers, say you do like a $3,000 turnover, you know, that is going to be repairs, right? So it's just like, you know, 24 months of no repairs and then boom, $3,000 turnover. Um, so you're able to, you know, reduce that by making the house really nice, which is why I want you to spend the money on the kitchen and the bath. And then you can reduce it even further by getting in government guaranteed tenants. Uh, but you still need to account for it, right? It's all not cash flow. It's all not cheddar. Just remember, eventually that stuff will catch up to you. Cap X, right? Those are your big ticket items. Now, furnaces last about 30 years. We got a new furnace from the photos. That's great. Hot water tanks last about 15 years. Uh, we got a new one of those. Um, so those are two things you don't have to worry about right now. But Every 15 years, you need to spend about a grand replacing that hot water tank. Every 30 years, you got to spend uh, about three grand replacing that furnace. So you got to factor that in. Um, another thing, we don't really have very many uh, shots of the roof. They didn't say anything about the roof, but it looks to be in decent shape. A roof on a house like this is going to run you about five grand. Okay, I don't think you need to worry about that immediately but that's your capital expenditures furnaces hot water tanks roof big ticket items that have a definitive cost and a definitive timeline you need to calculate for that like you don't have to probably spend any money on that furnace for the next 25 years right but putting back in your piggy bank 47 dollars a month every month until then makes sense because eventually you will taxes two thousand one hundred sixteen dollars a year that breaks down to 176 a month uh, you're going to need to insure this bad boy. should be about 80 bucks a month. Uh, if you don't already know this, Adam, or anyone else who's watching this video, 
We own an insurance company. We have a franchise through Farmers. My partner, Kevin Hogue, he runs that business for us. His information is in the show notes below. Uh, we are expanding into multiple states. We do all of Ohio, but we also do several under, other states like Indianapolis and Alabama. Uh, so if you are an investor and you need an insurance policy and you're looking to lower your premium, in the notes below, there's Kevin's information. Reach out to Kevin to get a quote. That's an insurance company built for investors by investors. We're landlords, guys. We understand everyone watching the show are investors' landlords. You are just looking for the lowest possible premium. Uh, so we have it through Farmers. It's a franchise, but we are also appointed with uh, other various companies. So uh, like rental properties, for instance, we uh, insure almost every single rental property through a company called Foremost. They have bare minimum policies, low prices. So insurance, anybody who needs insurance on an investment property, reach out to us. That's what we specialize in. All Kevin's info is in the show notes. Back to the analysis, though. Water sewer, you're looking at 75 a month. You have to pay water sewer. No ands, ifs, or buts. There's no way out of that. Uh, if you have questions for why you need to pay water sewer, go back to my fact, okay? And then way, 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 way down here, I think it's all the way at the bottom. I have a whole big thing here for you on why you need to pay water and sewer. If I could find, here it is. All this information right here, this is about you guys paying water and sewer. I don't want to burn any time in this analysis explaining why you need to do it. Uh, so just read that. Lawn care. Um, I factored this in at 44 bucks a month or 528 a year. Uh, and that would be we charge 33 bucks a cut. Um, we need to cut a house about 16 times a year. Um, but honestly, I probably shouldn't even have factored this in. Uh, because when the tenant is living there, the tenant, it's a single family home. You can make the tenant pay. Uh, so that should be a little bit extra cherry on top for you. You could remove that. Um, you know, theoretically, maybe we cut the grass for you for like two and a half months while we're doing the renovations. Uh, if we're going through Section 8, maybe it's like three and a half months before we get you a tenant. We're cutting that grass uh, at an average of 44 a month. And then once you get a tenant in there, boom, you could remove that uh, from your line item because that tenant will handle that. And then uh, PM, my favorite expense of all the expenses, that's 95 a month. If we rent it out at 950, 10%, but we cap it at 100 a month. So if we do Section 8, more cherry on top for you, dude. If you end up renting it for like 1,176, I'm still only going to charge you 100. So <clears throat> my estimate, my rough estimate of all your expenses, 611 every month. Could go up, could go down. Like, you know, that lawn care, that could go down, right? I think that's going to come off. Your rents, your rents are going to vary, right? It's not going to be 950 every month for the end of time. I gave you a few options of how we can go Section 8 and get that rent way up. Um, you know, water, sewer, it's, I, I put it in there at 75. That's a reasonable estimate, but that doesn't mean it's going to be 75 every month. So you need to understand these are all variable. Like, if you think you're going to get this exact amount uh, of expenses every single month versus your income every month, it's going to be like this fixed return. This is not the investment for you. Rental real estate isn't the investment for you. We have an unlimited amount of variables at all time. But if you're down with the fact that this is variable and this is our best guess estimate uh, based on data from having a very large portfolio uh, and doing this for a very long time, this is what you can typically see over the long term performance of a property. You're looking at expenses around 611. So your NOI, brother. You should be making clearing $339 a month or $4,064 a year. But you like burrs and I like burrs too. So what does this investment look like if you do some financing? Now, total investment, you're looking at spending $60K. I'd want you to buy this cash. Uh, I don't know if you have it under contract for less than 45 If you paid 45 it's still a good deal. Anything you can get under 45 would be great. Maybe you could uh, utilize your uh, inspection for some leverage, uh, get it a little bit less than 45 but that seems to be a pretty fair price. Um, so let's just assume you got it at 45 You put that 15 in. You're all in for 60 I want you to pay cash because then you can do a refinance. You could pull your money back out. You could pull the full 45000 back out, so then you end up with only 15000 in the deal. If you bought it at 45 with a mortgage, 
you know, you have to pay 25% down. That's probably like 11 or 12 or something like that. And then you have to fund uh, the 15,000 repairs cash. So that would put you at like 25 to like 28 cash into the deal. That'll lower your returns. So buy it cash, uh, <clears throat> fix it, put a tenant in, then let's do the refi. Assuming it refinances for a total of 60,000, could be higher a little bit, but let's just assume it refis out for 60. Now you only got 15K in the deal. That would give you a monthly mortgage payment of 228. Okay, so your net cash flow every month after you pay off that mortgage is 111 a month. And remember, that 111 you're making every month, you know, that's 1,328 for the year. You only have 15K uh, sunk into the deal. So that is a cash on cash return of 8.8%. Very good. That is a solid investment. So because of that, this deal is 100% James Wise approved. Now, one thing, uh, just based on the numbers, though, that's not everything. Like, yes, this deal is James Wise approved, but the location has a lot to do with it, too. Uh, as far as your location, that's something I haven't even talked to you about yet. This is on the east side of Cleveland, and a lot of the neighborhoods on the east side of Cleveland are just horrendous. They're horrible. Um, if you have not seen it yet, I want you to check out something I wrote. It's Oh, by the way, real quick, I had this on the screen. Uh, when I was breaking down all of your money, like that uh, mortgage of 45000 I told you it's two twenty eight a month. Uh, I got that, uh, the full amortization schedule right here. I got it pulled up on HoltonWise.com. You see, if you go to the uh, tools and resource section, we have a mortgage calculator for you. So you guys can run all of your own numbers and get full, full information there. Um, but anywho, uh, back in the same tools and resource section, what I want to bring your attention to is the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I got it pulled up right here. Now, this is 44122. Uh, I actually don't even have this uh, Cleveland section of the zip code on the ultimate guide. I need to update the ultimate guide. But what that does is that zip code is also shared with Shaker Heights, which is an A-class neighborhood. Median income 75K. The property tax rate is 3.97. Cool thing is this is in that same zip code, but it's Cleveland, so the tax rate's lower. It's 2.79. Um, where I would grade this neighborhood would be probably a C-class neighborhood. Uh, I will add this into the ultimate guide. So if you're in 44122 in Cleveland, I'm giving that a grade of C. So it's a solid C-class neighborhood. So what you're seeing is stuff very similar to like Bedford, Maple Heights, uh, but you get a lower tax rate, which is nice. Like you're going to get like a lot of the same quality of folks uh, as like a Maple Heights or a Warrensville Heights, which are pretty close to there. And the tax rates for those, 3.04%, 3.7%. You get it at 2.79%, so it's a little cheaper. Uh, even cheaper than that too, just so you know, is Bedford at 268 But this is nice. Nice little C-class neighborhood. Let me pull this up on the map for you so you could uh, get an idea of what I'm talking about. Because, uh, you know, a lot of the uh, neighborhoods on the east side, like the east side of Cleveland, I, I've ranked really, really low. Uh, I'll show that to you in the guide real quick. But, like, this is our house right here. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Expanding your real estate holdings to multiple markets is a great way to reduce your risk. Birmingham, Alabama features an unemployment rate that is well below the national average. In fact, Birmingham's growing tech scene has been highlighted by both Fords and Barons. That, coupled with Birmingham's low price to rent ratio, is why so many investors from around the U.S. have been flocking to the area to put their money to work. Spartan Invest has helped hundreds of investors successfully buy cash flowing real estate in Birmingham. With an average tenant stay of 39 months, it's easy to see why Spartan Invest maintains an annual occupancy rate above 95%.
To learn more about the turnkey opportunities in Birmingham, Alabama, contact Spartan Invest today at 205-202-4118 or visit them online at spartaninvest.com. So we are bordering Shaker. Like, Shaker's right here. Shaker is incredibly nice. Beachwood is an A-class neighborhood. Shaker's an A-class neighborhood. Highland Hills, A-class neighborhood. These are all incredibly nice neighborhoods. But if you go over here, like, don't get all crazy. Like, don't get excited. Like, when you're looking at properties in Cleveland in 44122, you need to be as far east towards these areas as possible because you, if you go over here, Union Miles, Mount Pleasant. Like, if you tried to buy anything, like, all up in here, I wouldn't even look at the numbers. I would probably just deny that deal for any out-of-state investor because, uh, number one, Holton-wise, we wouldn't manage properties over there. I can't staff uh, the management and construction crew uh, if I manage stuff over here. Like, their trucks get broken into. These are just dangerous neighborhoods. So, like, all this would be, like, F-class neighborhoods. So, like, when you read my ultimate guide, you see a lot of stuff in Cleveland on the east side of Cleveland, not the suburbs. Like Garfield Heights, Maple Heights, all those are pretty nice. Those are typically B and C. But the city itself, there's a lot of really bad, rough areas. And what those are is those are like over here and then up north. East Cleveland's pretty bad. But over here, this is a good C class neighborhood. Like, and when you're like checking out neighborhoods, like the ways you can check that out, like look what we got here, right? This is like all the houses around here. Look, house, 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 house. If you're in those really rough neighborhoods, you're going to see vacant lots everywhere. Now, to be fair, it looks like we've got one vacant lot here and one vacant lot here. So we have two vacant lots. So that means two houses. We've got dilapidated and the city just tore it down. Um, that's that's what you're going to see in a C-class neighborhood, man. Like, remember, this isn't a high-end suburb or anything. Like, I think the best target is a Section 8 tenant. But that is, like, a nice way uh, to tell if you're in an area that is not really blighted. Like, let me zoom this back out again for you here okay so that area that i told you was terrible mount pleasant union miles let's go over here to the mount pleasant neighborhood okay like let's do another uh zoom in so let's take like the same general area and this is just like randomly me zooming in with my fingers on the map here right so we got the same amount of houses in the mount pleasant area and like over there we had like more or less like this amount of houses and we only saw two uh, two where the lot was the house was torn down right but look what I got here in the Mount Pleasant area one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I don't know if I got that one twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty three one two three four three five I'm going to guess that got corn down, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So the same general, like, little piece of the map, okay, in the Mount Pleasant neighborhood, we got 41 houses that got torn down versus two uh, over here where your house was. So that's how you can tell that this is a C-class neighborhood. Um, and I will get the ultimate guide updated to show it to you like look this is just a nice little street you know you got nice little 1950s built bungalows this is yours i guess it still is green well this is the google earth but it, it looks green uh remember we had two v different colors in those photos uh it's ugly as all hell but as long as we make the house look nice on the inside it, it should still rent so that shouldn't be an issue i don't think it would be a wise investment for you to reside it if they didn't already reside it hopefully they did that'd be a nice bonus if they didn't it was just maybe a different angle with the sun you'll still be fine it'll still rent what people are really focusing on is going to be the inside you know if you got to spend money spend it in the kitchen and the bath don't worry about the uh the vinyl siding, even though it is kind of an ugly color. It is what it is, though, right? It's a $45,000 house. But moving down the street, man, I dig this street. Like, look, you don't see a lot of boarded-up windows. We don't see anything torn down. This is just a nice little solid C-class neighborhood, man. This is good. You got no blight over here, and you're bordering the nicer suburbs. So like I said, man, this deal's James Wise approved. I like it. 
I think it would be great uh, for your portfolio. I think the risk is, is pretty low. Um, and whatever you've got this thing under contract for, if you got it for a little bit less than 45000 hey, man, that's great. Um, but you could safely pay 45000 I think an 8.8% cash-on-cash return is very good. You're going to keep a very small amount of money in the deal, only $15,000. And, hell, it might appraise for even more, so you might be able to pull out more than 45000 and you'll have an even higher cash-on-cash cash return, even less money into this deal so you could use for other deals. And if we increase those rents by going to Section 8, you'll be able to make an even bigger return. So, uh, and or Adam, rather. Adam, this is a good deal, man. Like I said, this one is James Wise approved. I think you are good to go to make this purchase. And if you want Holton Wise to come in and handle your construction and your property management after you close, we are ready, willing, and able to do that. Uh, information, I'm sure you probably already know, but if you... Uh, if you haven't checked or anybody else is watching this video, all the information on what we charge and how we do everything, our tenant screening, reducing tenant turnover, everything you need to know, our maintenance approval process, the markups we charge on maintenance, all of that is right here, 100% transparent for you guys in our property management fact. This person you see in all these videos, that is our GM, Valerie Chambers. She will be your main point of contact the person in charge of your account, uh, overseeing the day-to-day -day functions of that. When you're with Holton Wise and up top here, you can actually download a copy of our property management agreement. All the fees we charge you, every single thing we do for you, all of our policies are right there out in the open transparent. I want everybody to see what we do because we have a very uh, competitive product. Uh, so, Adam, man, thank you for uh, purchasing the analysis. Anybody else who's watching this, if you'd like to get an analysis just like this one, you can go ahead. You click on the property search uh, tab. Now, I am the number one seller of investment properties in Cleveland, and I sell properties every day, full video tours of all my properties. We sell them on Holton Wise TV. We do that with the Investment Property for Sale show. So you make sure you subscribe to Holton Wise TV on YouTube and also subscribe to our mailing list. So you click the Investor Start here. Every day at 1 p.m., we're going to send those properties to you, and you could bid right there through the email. If you are like Adam, though, and uh, you're looking for other stuff because the properties on the investment properties for sale show, man, they sell pretty much the same day it goes out. So it's going to go out at 1 p.m. And I usually get 20, 30 bids on those because, you know, we are the number one seller of investment properties in Cleveland because I don't think there's any other brokerage that uh, focuses on the investor needs quite like we do. Um, so if the properties in the investment property for sale show are moving too fast for you and you're looking at the MLS your di direct mailing for sale by owners. Maybe you're finding people selling properties on Craigslist. Maybe wholesalers are trying to sell you properties. Uh, you can have me analyze them exactly how I just did uh, for my man Adam here. You could bring me the property. Here is the various products that I offer on that show. Um, you could bring me the property like we did here. This is the entry level. It's uh, $4.99. And uh, I will analyze everything that you tell me about the property plus what I could find online from my desk. Uh, but if you don't have a property in mind, maybe you just have a criteria, I could go out and we could search the MLS looking for properties that fit your needs. And then we can act as your broker. Or you could do what Adam did. Uh, and you could just put an offer through the listing agent, try to get it pushed through because the listing agent is going to get paid more if they don't have to share the commission and make your deal contingent on the investment analysis for me. That, that works as well. However you guys want to work it, we are here on an a la carte basis to provide you guys uh, the investor information, things you need. Because I know all these other realtors out here consider these homes like – they consider them homes. You know, they're thinking, oh, I got to make it look nice and families are going to move in. They're going to buy to own it. But that's not what you guys are doing. We are looking at these like little businesses. These are investment vehicles. And that's all I do. Like I don't sell homes to owner occupants. I only handle homes uh, in, in a way that sells them to investors. I only treat these as uh, investment vehicles, little businesses. I sell money. I don't sell houses. So if you want that type of an analysis on your property, no matter who you're buying it from in the Cleveland market, uh, we are here to do it. Go ahead, get yourself your own MLS search and analysis. And then um, last thing I want to say while I have everyone's attention, if you are not subscribed to Holton Wise TV on YouTube, make sure you smash that subscribe button right now, like the video, share it with a friend who's looking to learn about real estate. As always, 
I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. High Return Real Estate is a true turnkey machine in Indianapolis, Indiana. This company was built for investors by investors. We buy, rehab, inspect, tenant, and sell stabilized turnkey real estate to investors with complete transparency on every step of the process. Every property we sell comes with a third-party inspection both before and after the rehab, along with a six-month warranty on all major system renovations and our exclusive in-house property management team that has one goal in mind, provide our clients with high return real estate. For more information, subscribe to our mailing list in the show notes below or visit us online at highreturnrealestate.com. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.